So React Use, as I said before, it's a very useful library that gives you access to a lot of hooks, native hooks that helps you to do a lot of operations, to do a lot of actions inside your React application. And there is one that we're going to use today, is the one on local storage, okay? So here we can see side effects. Under the side effects category, I add use local storage. So if I click on use local storage, suddenly we access to a piece of code that is available here and that helps me to understand how to use use local storage with React Use. Let's take a look quickly at it because it will be easy for us to handle everything we want to store inside our local storage. It can be a, a, a key, for example. It can be um, a variable. It can be an object. It can be an array or whatever. Okay, so we can see here that when we have installed React Use, we can use the hook Use Local Storage, which gives us access to several values, exactly like we have when we use, for example, a user state. We can see here that I got dark, set dark, and here, in this case, I'm going to use use local storage. And I got value, set value, we understand what it is, and remove. So here with the value, it's just a getter. The setter, it's set value. And remove, it's probably another setter just here already configured to remove the actual value. There we go. So we can see that we've got use local storage. And if I look at my local storage on my browser, on the applications here tab, under local storage and localhost, we can see that I got two columns, key and value. Okay, you see those two columns, key and value, they are actually corresponding to here. Here we got the key and here we got the value and we can get the value there. So after that, we can use the set value here, setter, to set a value then to get it or to remove it. You understood it all, okay? So we've got everything ready in here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to switch back to my previous configuration and to our dark mode, we want to add actually here um, what we have directly as a piece of code from here. We want to add use local storage here on the top. Of course, you need to install React Use. I already did it in a previous video, so we are good. And what I want to do, I want to use here this here, this value. I'm going to use it. Value, set value, and remove. And me, what I want to do is not to get actually and to start to put some kind of value. What I would like to do is to have a dark mode value, which by default would be on false. Okay? So I'm going to save that. And there we go. We should be good. Okay. So I don't got React Use installed, so I can type npm install React Use. Okay. What we want to do when the app is launched, and basically here we can console log here, launched, let's say on dark. So if I look here and I update, we can see that we've got launch. Okay, I'm coming back. What we want to do, we would like to set the value of dark directly to false. So I'm going to type false. And there we go. You can see here that the value has been set. We've got dark mode on false by default. Okay, very good. We got it. However, the problem is that here, if I turn here my value here of dark, I need also to change the dark mode down there. All right. So what I would like to do here is basically to watch for dark and set the value here of dark. So this is not false that I want. What I want is the value of dark. Okay. So as you can see, immediately it turned to true. And if I switch, I switch from false to true down there. Okay? Okay, that's good. That's really good. But what I want to do, I basically, and here if I turn uh, suddenly to dark and I update, it doesn't work. What I want to do is to catch the value from the store and to keep it. I want to keep the value of the store and just to attribute to my uh, variable dark the boolean immediately. In order to do so, we can use use effect again. And with use effect, we can watch for what? We can watch, actually, from a getter coming from use local storage. Because yes, remember, use local storage here is connected directly to this here, these two columns. So 
where can I get this set, this getter? Remember, here we've got value, which is a getter, a setter, a setter. So here I can watch for value, okay? And what I want to do here is to set, actually, dark to value. However, the problem here is that we're going to have some recursive effects. So what we want to do is to say, hey, if there's a value, set the value to value. Otherwise, if we're going to set all the time a value that is going to be false. Okay, so now I'm going to turn to true. I'm going to update, and now this is working. We can see that with the value that we have, we set the value dark directly just after. We just saw in this quick example that we can use use local storage hook coming from React Use to set a value inside our local storage, but also to get it. And with use effect, we can apply the value that we get directly to a local variable to change actually the data that is fulfilled inside our React application at the render.